Dear friends and BBAM colleagues, my name is Orid, and like you, I learned to use the Body Awareness Rating Scale Movement Quality and Experience as a part of my BBAM education. Over the last four years, I have had the opportunity to practice and study this evaluation tool in a research project, and I would like to share some facts, experiences and thoughts about the BOSS MQE with you. As you see in slide number two, hip osteoarthritis is a long-lasting joint disease that affects a person's daily life from several perspectives. Trying to maintain their daily life function and participation, patients tend to compensate by increasing their energy when moving, by limiting their movements in painful joints, by blocking their breathing and pushing their body to perform. Dealing with fluctuate, fluctuating and unpredictable symptoms, experiencing loss of function and having to redefine themselves as patients has been described by patients as emotionally draining and depressing. The aim in physiotherapy for this group of patients is to maintain daily functioning, symptom management and quality of life. As in many long-lasting diseases, a biopsychosocial approach is recommended, but without concrete suggestions for the promotion of psychosocial health. We therefore decided to investigate whether BBAT as a multi-perspective movement approach would be beneficial for this group of patients. <coughs> in slide 3, you find an overview of the study design and the many outcome measures that were chosen to evaluate the treatment outcome. We chose a battery of instruments that are recommended for use in hip osteoarthritis so that we could compare our results with those from other studies. Those instruments measure physical capacity and patient's self-reported function, health, quality of life. Although compensational movement patterns are common in hip osteoarthritis and also may contribute to additional pain and discomfort, the recommended instruments do not include a movement analysis. We therefore chose the BARS MQE to evaluate movement quality at the starting point and to capture any changes in movement quality after the intervention period. The BARS MQE also has several other important properties that are not covered in the recommended instruments. First, the BARS MQE includes the whole moving person how the person moves and how she takes care of herself while moving. Second, the evaluation is process oriented and includes the person's ability to become actively involved and to adapt to changes towards more functional movement. Finally, the BARS MQE is the only instrument that includes the patient perspective in own words in contrast to the standardized questionnaires. When preparing for BOSS MQE evaluation with 100 patients, it was particularly important that the evaluation settings were similar for each individual in order to be compared statistically. I found the prescription for my preparations in Sherwin's paper from 2010 how can movement quality be promoted in clinical practice? Fulfilling the preconditions, creating the platform, using the therapeutic factors. These models for promoting movement quality became meaningful and helpful in my preparations. For example, I knew that my patients would mirror my movements and as a role model for the patients to follow, I had to deepen my own movement experiences and develop my own movement quality. Becoming comfortable with the movements, I started to practice my guidance on friends and colleagues. Um, <clears throat> repeating the same words and metaphors until they came naturally. 
Using a tape recorder, I listened to my own voice to identify how I could communicate the gentle, accepting exploration of movement and at the same time lead the patient with a clear and firm intention. The mother and the father role. I realized that nuances in my voice underlined my words and that this helped really helped the patient to participate in the evaluation. The next step was to practice and become familiar with the scoring criteria. I used the BARS MQE manual and observed the patient that is filmed in the BBAT tutorials. I knew from before that I had a tendency to get stuck in the details when observing patients, so I practiced the zooming in and zooming out in order to take in the whole moving person in my concluding score. If you use the BBAT tutorials or other videos of, of uh, mo patients moving, I recommend that you also use the slow motion function when you watch. It gives you more time to observe and to practice your scoring. The final step in my preparations as a research assessor was to calibrate myself as an evaluation instrument. I organized to conduct several BOSS MQE evaluations together with experienced BBAT therapists. There were genuine clinical encounters with real patients and the patients gave their consent to letting another therapist observe and participate. And after the evaluation, I received feedback on my guidance and my organization of the evaluation setting, and we both scored the patient's movement quality. We found that I generally gave a somewhat higher score than my colleagues, and I adjusted this before including patients to the research project. I have experienced that patients need to be prepared for the particular evaluation setting in BARS MQE. As they play an active role in the, in the evaluation, they really need to know what they are expected to do. If they become insecure, they are not able to stay in the movement exploration and they become preoccupied with the question, am I doing it right now? So in the research project, there was limited time to prepare the patient. So I wrote down some sentences with essential information. And I presented this to the patient before the BOSS MQE evaluation. You find those sentences in slide number seven as an example of how you can do it. In slide 8, you find a schematic overview of the interaction between patient and therapist in each of the 12 movements. This overview was developed in relation to a pu publication on BARS MQE to illustrate the evaluation setting for readers that are not familiar with BBAT or the BARS MQE. In this overview, it becomes clear that BARS MQE part 2 is an important part of the learning process that takes place in the BOSS MQE evaluation. When invited to describe, the patients verbalize their immediate experiences and what they find meaningful in the movement exploration. This verbalization offers important information to the therapist, of course, but also it makes it easier for the patients to bring their experiences with them into the next movement and those following. In our project participants, we observed that there seemed to take place a learning process throughout the evaluation from movement 1 to movement, 10, no, movement 12. We found that the descriptions tended to be focused on symptoms and limitations in the first movements, maybe because this is what the patients usually ask, are asked about by the doctor or other physiotherapists. However, we found that our participants developed their descriptions to be more nuanced and health directed towards the end of the evaluation. This development of descriptions indicate that the patients had shifted their focus somewhat from being occupied with symptoms towards health 
within the BOSS MQE evaluation setting. In slide number nine, I have summed up some of my experiences from the 200 BOSS MQE evaluations. I hope that you may become inspired to practice and use the BOSS MQE with your patients. A reason why BOSS MQE has become my favorite evaluation tool is that it offers a, a unique platform to create a therapeutic interrelationship. The patient is approached as a person, not as a diagnose. And most of the patients in our project describe the evaluation as interesting. Some expressed finding joy in rediscovering their body or experiencing what they actu actually do when they move <clears throat> and experiencing well-being from gentle and small movements. This is all for now. We will meet again in a new digital session in September and I will present some of the BOSS MQE findings in our research study. I wish you all the best for your BOSS MQE learning process. Bye bye.